Thank you, Lord. So we're going to get some strength this morning, right? 
Hallelujah. Praise God. We got Brother the One Tate finna read the Old Testament scripture. Thank you, Lord. New Testament, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna be coming out the Gospel of Matthew, 11 chapter, verse 28, 29, and verse 30. Come unto me, all you that labor and the heavy lad, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got Sister Christian Scott. She in here? Christian Scott, come on. Praise God. Got a poem for the Lord. Let's give the Lord a good hand clap, everybody. Grandma, I said, Grandma, seems like the good is missing. Know you are an angel. Although you're gone physically, we know you're here spiritually. Although my heart aches and my eyes water, we hope you're dancing in the heaven and singing in the angel's choir. Hey, hope the heavens know what they gained since you arrived. Lord knows you earned your ticket. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy mine just for five more minutes with you. Love you, Grandma, the whole day through. Like an old sweet song. Grandma George on my mind. We love you and we miss you from, from your family, your grandkids, and us all. You are an old sweet song forever in our mind.
what's your name? Hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. God is good. Praise God. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to get ready to have some comments. Thank you, Lord. We know they're going to be good and strong. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm sitting up here feeling the spirit of prophecy. And I heard the Lord say, you're going to turn this place into a heavenly place this morning. What y'all think about that? Praise God. The Bible says the different hand is to hear and let them hear what the Spirit says to the church. That means, praise God, that God got a word for somebody. So that means don't look to the left or to the right. Praise God. Don't look to see who's receiving. Take the word that God gives you. Because the word that God is going to give you is going to strengthen you internally. Praise God. Externally, we all leave, but internally we shall abide forever. Is that right? Praise God. Hallelujah. So we thank the Lord this morning. Thank you, Lord. I also heard old religion. I also heard being rooted and grounded. So I'm sitting up here just, and I'm like, man, why you being rooted and grounded? Praise God. Hallelujah. Having that old religion. Thank you, Lord. Not all this new stuff that's watered down and take away from the power of Christ, but that word, that word that touched the soul. You know that word where you're not going to be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You're not going to be ashamed if somebody say something to you, you run out and like, I don't like what they talking about. No, you're going to take that word and allow it to build you. The Bible says, said the Lord build the house, the labor is in vain. Yeah, we inside of a church for a funeral, but praise God, we didn't come here for the dead, we came for the living. Thank you, Lord. We know Sister Scott is all about living. I asked the pastor, I didn't know what personally, I asked the pastor a little bit about it last night, I was in prayer, and he came over there and showed me the obituary, he, he, cause I had to officiate it, and he was giving me a backstory, and he said, well God brought her first. I said, ain't that something? That's the foundation right there. Praise God, brought her first, and she reached back and started bringing others. Well it seemed like she was doing what the Lord wanted her to do, is that right? Then the Lord told us, he said, Jesus said, I come to seek and save them that are lost. He said, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. So it seemed like Sister Scott was a fisher of man. Thank you, Lord. So I know within my spirit, if I'm here in old religion, if I'm here rooted and grounded, that's something that she believed in. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I'm hearing that God want to turn this building into a heavenly place, that's something that she believed in. And Jesus Christ's true church always brings one spirit with him. That's the spirit of heavenly places. If the church, if we can't bring heavenly places to anywhere we go, we ain't the church. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the difference between being on fire and not on fire. Praise God. But we didn't come to condemn anybody. We come that everybody receive a blessing from the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before they pull my jacket, let me call everybody up for comments. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This time we're going to open up for comments. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We got the, the mic over here to the left. Anybody want to speak? Praise God. They peace over the life of Sister Scott. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on up at this time. Come on, brother. Y'all come on, gather up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It's good, Lord. Good hand clap, everybody. It needs some sound. Good morning, church. Good morning. To, to the pastor, the family, and the friends. Uh, it, it's, it, I'm going to make the real short. I'm going to miss Miss Scott for coming over. You know, uh, when she see me, she always say, that Ryan out there? I said, yeah. I said, oh, he got my snuff? <laughs> I said, yeah, I tell him I'm on my way with a whole truck of it. <laughs> but I never did bring y'all. And uh, I'm gonna miss and I love you. I have a quick poem I'm gonna say. Okay. Roses are red and the heavens are blue. When God created me sky, it was a beautiful thing to do. Amen. 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 Let's just be strong. Everybody be strong. He said, your hands with the Lord right now. So us uh, that's living, you gotta get right to get on that train where she at. Amen. the Shelley family. My Aunt Georgia was my mother's sister. And those two, they love each other dearly. And I'm pretty there together now. I didn't make it to an eight one birthday. But I didn't beat myself up about it because 
I knew what I meant to her, and she knew what she meant to me. Every time I saw her, it brought a smile to my face because I knew how those two sisters interact. I remember so much about her. And we loved her, and I stand here now speaking for her. My sisters and brothers know that they loved her too. So I had to come up here and speak for them. We will always miss her, but she left us a legacy. I have my cousins to look at, talk to. I have my younger cousins. I see them all. So her legacy will live on. It will live on. We have to embrace each other. Embrace each other. That's what we need to do. Thank you. How's it going, everybody? Um, those of you who don't know me, I'm Apostle Zygos Foster. Um, I'm the sister. Well, I call her mother. So I think she's old enough to be a uh, mother. And she came to the Church of Jesus Christ. I was about four years old. And I'm 42 now. So you see what, what the time has gone. And uh, I remember her riding a uh, church bus. She stayed in Coke Street Apartments. And uh, I used to ride on the bus because I was raised in the parsonage. So I used to sneak on there and ride the route. Amen. <laughs> and she would, she would be the first one that we would pick up. And I would sit in the back because when you hit bumps, the seat goes up and you bounce. But she would always sit in the front behind the driver on the left-hand side. And a lot of times I would hear her whistling. She wasn't singing, she was whistling. And it wasn't loud, it wasn't boisterous, it was real subtle and calm. And I didn't know the songs that she whistled because I was a youngster. And it was songs that I didn't grow up on, amen, somebody. So, it was, but it had a sweet melody. Uh, speed time forward, 97, 1997, uh, we got into an accident together. Uh, if it wasn't for the Lord intervening, I think that both of us would have been gone. But I remember waking up in the hospital later and uh, kept looking for a mirror. I kept saying, give me a mirror, I need a mirror. And we was in the same room together. And uh, they'll give me the mirror, I'll hand it back and I'll tell them, give me a mirror, give me a mirror. So they was kind of, I was already crazy, so they knew I was really crazy then. And so, so I kept asking, I said, what happened? And she would tell me what happened, but I was out of my mind. I think I just woke up out of a coma. And uh, I said, what happened? What, what, what happened? Why are we here? And you know, she had a sense of humor. And she told me, she said, you fell out the bed. <laughs> and I looked down. I said, that must have been a long fall. <laughs> Because we both was, I know I was messed up really bad, and I know she was messed up, but I thank God for the bond that we had over all this. It's been a long time since I've seen her, but that bond we shared all these years. Right. She, look, when I went back to school, they called me Crash Dunny. And one day I was talking to her. I said, you know, I'm not the only Crash Dunny, because both of us was in that accident. <laughs> And so, you know, I, I thank God for the time that we shared and, and the, the bond that we had over these years. I never, ever forget her because I have scars in my body to remember her by. Amen? Amen. 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 Giving our praises to God, to the uh, minister, to the pastor of this church, to the Marie family. I just want to, Georgie and I, we go back a long way. I call her family. And the last time I saw her, she said, Gloria, I want you to sing if it's nothing but a verse. She said, cause you know I love this song. So I just want to do just a verse, Pastor, of this song. For her, I, I don't know what Jesus 
is to you. But I, but I hope he is to you what he is to me. Celebration of life. And I just tell the Lord, thank you. Yeah. Amen. See, I had to go back and do some thinking. And I had to go back and do some reading. I had to go back and do some praying and some meditation. And one thing and two things that I know for sure is that Jesus is on the main line. I didn't come to preach, I come to teach. See, I had to go back to Genesis and how the Lord made Noah create that ark. See, back in those days, he gave life for 900 years, 800 years, 700 years. But he told Noah, that I'm gonna have you to take in children, men, women, cat, dog, and rabbit, and everything else, and creatures and everything. I'm gonna have you to take in those. <coughs> and I'm gonna have you to build this ark. And when you take in those, I'm going to cover you for 40 days and 40 nights. And I want to say, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that this family has blessed me into their home for six years. Six whole years. And I've grown to love Miss George. I really have. She has sung with me so many songs, Jesus. And them songs come out of nowhere, but she always be just thanking and praising the Lord in all her songs, Jesus. Sometimes she get off track, but the Lord quicken her mind just to get right back on track, Jesus. 
her sick days, her confused days. But the Lord humbled her spirit, Jesus. Yes, he did. And she went on home. He saved her soul for his grace and his mercy. And we so undeserving of it. But he's steady sending us his way. But I come to tell you, Lord, that I want to be on that narrow path, not that wide. All the way to hell. Because that narrow path is the highway to hell. And I come and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the highest praise you can get. And that's all I got for you. But I want to just tell y'all, don't give up. It ain't easy. And you can praise him right now. You don't have to wait till the fire comes to praise him. You don't have to wait till you get old to praise him. You can praise him while you're young. You can praise him when you get in your middle age. You can praise him when you get old. Just like she did. And she praised him all the way into her celebration on this very day. And I say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Giving all honors to God and everybody here. I say, thank you, Lord. Give right unto God the true pastor's appeal. I heard so much about this guy, and I got to meet him by care of mother now. But Miss Scott is gone. And I'm going to say this. You can't do it to me. You can't do it to nobody. Because God is going to be the one to do it. And the thing I'm telling y'all, us that's here, is old Miss Scott. I need to get rid of it. One thing, it ain't but one thing blocking me. And I know you can look at me too. But guess what? God still loves. I'm asking this whole church to pray for me, Amen. and I'm asking this whole church to pray for the family. Because we all, we all, we all got to go, including me. But the question is, am I going to be with you? She went, but am I going, are we going to be with you? And I'm asking you, Pastor Will, y'all, all y'all. My name is Kelly, and I need prayer. Pray for me every day. Just a kid. Let's pray for this stuff. Just talk when we drop them. The pain ain't gone. Okay. And I will be back to serve this church with Christmas for Jesus. Raquel, I want to say I love you. I don't know your mother name, but I want to tell you I'm here for you. And one thing, the rest of the family, I got to love y'all too. But I can't just love one and expect other help. All y'all in this church, I'm asking y'all to pray for me. Because God has something that you want me to do. Shake it, but that's okay. I'm still here. He has something that he wants me to do. But I need to do a lot. I need to do a ministry. But I want you to know, if I'm killing your mother, I love you. And if you need me, call. If you don't know my name, ask my daughter. Because you know what? I know what he has now. A bachelor. But it ain't one thing. And I, you can look at me too, but guess what? If you change all the rest of it, you can say it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a strong hand for that today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. How many of y'all know God don't look on the outer appearance? How many of y'all know the Lord judge the heart? Praise God. This is why we do what we do. This is why I'm still preaching. This is why I'm still in church for testimonies like that. This is why we don't come to funerals and ask for money and do all these things for recognition of man. We do this because we got to help somebody make it to be with God. Everybody ain't having a good day. Praise God. Everybody not going home. Praise God. And having a 
Right. Uh, the American dream. A lot of people going on with a lot of pain. I had pain. God had to help me. And I thank God for my past and for all the members at our church that was in place at the time of my life coming because I need some serious help. I didn't need any preacher that was just trying to put on a show bigger for my money. I, I needed somebody not to preach prosperity. I needed somebody to help me make it to be with God. I needed deliverance. And if you can't get deliverance in the house of God, that ain't God's house. Praise God. Because when you come before his presence, you know Jesus come to bless. Is that right? Just like the woman at the well. That woman came looking for water, but he has another water to give it, didn't he? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we, gonna, we definitely going to pray for that sister. Y'all want to pray for it now? She asked us all to pray. Can we pray for her now? We know, it's, we, we know we can't program her too much, right? Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray for her right now. Thank you, Lord. Come on down. Praise God. We're going to let the pastor and the minister pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. While the sister sang a song for the honor and glory of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. How many of y'all believe this morning? Do you believe this morning? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Bless your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, God, you look down from heaven. You break your God. I know you're able to set the chapter free. Well, God, in the name of Jesus, we command your spirit to touch, break your God. Boy, in the mighty name of Jesus, right now, and move, move right now, move, God, move. In the name of Jesus, in your glory now. Amen.
I tell the Lord I always been good. See, when you look at it, pray God, hallelujah. You can't forget them, you know, the, the, like that stepping stone that was there to help you to be able to get up. Huh, there was something that called you to get up, to go to crying out to Jesus. Huh, you know it was good, praise God, hallelujah. You know the Lord was good. That had you crying out. I ain't seen a bad day with Jesus. Huh? See, I can tell you this, praise God. See, Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor in a heavy land, and I give you rest. But don't you know, pray God, right there in that place was where we found that rest at. Huh? I found my rest right there. I started resting with the Lord. See, it ain't when you die, you go to rest. You go to rest right now. You rest right now. I pray God, see, the God I know, he's not the God of the day. He's the God of the living, huh? Pray God. You got to realize, pray God. Hallelujah, God with me to God. Pray God. He's the God of the living. Huh? And see, pray God, hallelujah. See, the, the, working right now. Huh? Praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. We realize. Might have been some years ago. So some other George probably was in the same seat that you all sit in. Looking at her little one, never knew how of what the outcome would be. Go be. Maybe we're thinking, I can't, I ain't gonna be able to make it tomorrow. Huh? Because praise God and some pain and hurt there. You dwell on the flesh, you know. You get so close to it. You feel like you won't be able to make the next day. But I tell you, this day, my God, he's never been a fail. I say you found someone that you can count on, lean on. See, when you look, praise God, even though, praise God, her coming out of Louisiana, coming here, getting in contact with the Lord, it puts some joy in her heart. I, every time I see her, she was she was happy. Huh? Uh, she had a smile there where she wouldn't expect you to be like this. She would want you to get on board where she was at, huh? See, she met somebody. But see, I, I used to hear her up there crying, saying, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. See, when you come to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, you said thank you, Jesus, so much, you didn't know what was going on. Uh, but I found out that was the best thing that ever happened. Praise 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Get your Bible. I'm going to read a little bit over here in 2 Corinthians, about the fifth chapter. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, the thing is, I love my Lord. Huh? I love my Savior. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Now, I tell you, don't back up on him. Huh? Amen. Praise God. I know. Praise God. Hallelujah. I see you, Sister Georgia. Huh? I put my eyes on. Huh? Well, praise God. Hallelujah. You're telling me all the good things are where. You know, praise God. See, this is just uh, something that you were using in this life. Huh? You look at this. This is not you. You on the inside of it. You just using this to see what you go do for God. Huh? huh? You got to realize now. Praise God. See, my Bible says, put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thou. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. So battle going on there. Paul said, when I see to do good, say evil will pray. Huh? He found out that it was a battle. But something happened though, didn't he? He met the Lord on the road to the master, didn't he? Uh, but when he met the Lord, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. See, he was weary at first. See, you might be on a journey that you're weary with. Uh, but when you come to Jesus, ain't no weary. I say it ain't no weary. It ain't no weary. See, that's, he going to help you to get off of that road just like Paul did. He was weary, praise God, because he bumped in something that was greater than he was. Uh, see, when he met the light, he met some, praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. When you meet the light, glory to God, you'll meet some too. Uh, I'm talking about you'll really know who you, praise God, what you came in contact with. My God. It's the party. It's the party. The Lord said, my daughter, you still belong to me. He said, you can't fight it, because you belong to me. He said, I know you recognize my voice, daughter. And I'm talking to you. I'm talking at your heart. Just let go and surrender. You belong to me. He said, I long to see you. Praise the Lord with all your heart. Thank you, you too, my daughter. I love to hear those prophecies. Again, my daughter. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just come on back to me. You know I'm speaking to you. Just come to me. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I know she prophesied. I, I heard that voice when I came in there. Who is that? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, still love you. His God, praise God. Don't give up on him. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you, praise God. I'll never leave you, nor forsake you, praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Lord. Uh, see, I found out that you got to love him even more. Uh, 
pray. They're giving him the praise. Huh? Uh, you look at your praise, God. See, when you think yourself to be something, you ain't nothing, huh? Uh, but you got to give the praise unto the one who is somewhere. I uh, pray, God. Jesus said, I got power to lay my life down and to raise it up again, huh? I'm talking about that power. That power, glory to God. The power of the Father, huh? That power. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, you trying to get somewhere. I pray God, hallelujah, and this is the road that you get on, pray God. See, you got to do the gate. The gate, that's right. The gate, see the life is behind the gate. The life is behind the gate. This is behind the gate. Praise God. All right, read a little bit. Five and eleven. You read one. For well, we know. He said, for well, we know. If our earthly house in this tabernacle was dissolved. If our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. We have a building of God. We have a what? A building of God. See, we have a building of God, huh? A house made with our hand. Turn it to the heaven. Where is that? Turn it to the heaven. Eternal? In the heaven. In the heaven? Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. You may not understand about heaven. Uh, you may not have heard so much about heaven. You might have heard about heaven and sky, huh? But what about that heavenly place that you get in right now? Pray God. You got to get in that place right now. Pray God. Hallelujah. Why you live? Why you live? Huh? Why you live? Huh? If you don't get in that place, glory to God. Huh? You got to get in that place. You got to find that place.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is he gone? Is Paul still there? Paul, right here. The Lord told me to tell you, son, you know your mother was praying many, many prayers concerning your son. And he said, you know in her life how she tried to really draw you to come on with her. Come on and serve me that you had a calling on your life. You know it, Paul. He said, I'm tugging at you, I'm tugging at you. He said, come on, son. Come on, that's right, right now. He said, come on. If anything would make your mom happy, is to yes. know that Paul David yes. is yes. now giving his life to the Lord. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, this is real. This is not a fake old put on. Thank you, Lord. See, this is something that's real. You got to be real in Jesus. Praise God. You got to be real in Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't want to miss God, please. Alicia. She's still back there. Alicia. The Lord said, you know I'm talking to you. Jesus. He said, you always been special to me. Thank you. I saw you step out to serve me when you was just a little girl. All right. yes, yes, yes. You blessed many people through your little stand and that singing that you would do in my house. Yes, yes. The Lord said, daughter, just draw nigh to me while I'm drawing nigh to thee. I love you so much. Yes. And you got a special soul right there beside you. Your son. I love you both. I handpicked you and I chose you for this kingdom. Just come on. Amen. How I many know the Bible said it's fire, not property? He said it's fire, not property. Father said, give it for edification, exhortation, and comfort. See, the thing is about this. Amen. See, we love the, her, we love the family. We're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, reaching out. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. The thing is, the love that we hold for you all. Amen. And for mother, praise God, hallelujah. Oh yeah, she came, she heard me preach and all this, and you know, she go shout, she go holler, she go have a good time. Amen. Amen. So thankful, praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for all the goodness. Amen. I agree, little more. If so be that being clothed. If so be that being clothed. He shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. For we that are in this tabernacle, we do groan. Be in birth. Be in birth. Not for that. Not for that. We would be unclothed. Not that we should be unclothed. But clothed upon. But clothed upon. And might be swallowed up with life. That we might put on life, huh? The life of Jesus Christ. For the life of Jesus Christ being filled with his spirit. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust there. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. That's what about it. Come on. Now he that had wrought us. Now he that had wrought us. For the self same thing is God. For the self same thing is God. Which also given unto us. Which also given unto us. The earnest of the spirit. What we see? This is what you got to receive. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
This is why she prayed so hard. That was the whole purpose. Calling on the name of Jesus. Huh? That was the whole purpose. Hallelujah. Come on. Therefore, we are always confident. Therefore, we are always confident. He gives you something to be confident in. Huh? You know, if a person not confident in what they're doing, they kind of be wavering with it. Huh? Huh? Somebody can say anything and turn their mind another way. Huh? But when you're confident, when you're fully persuaded, huh? when you can't be moved by no wind or uh, 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 anything, you're confident. You don't build up this. Huh? This is where it is right here. See, pray God, hallelujah. This is what you wanted to leave with you. Be confident. Stand for God. Stand for God. Remember thy person. How he said, remember thy creator. In the days of thy youth. When the evil days come now. Huh? See, the creator, you, you can kind of forget. And you'll start putting more time towards everything else. And then for him, then, then stay at him. Huh? But you got to go back and where you had that confidence at. You got to be fully persuaded. Fully persuaded that nothing shake your faith. That you stand on the promise of God. Stand for Jesus. Stand for Jesus. Praise God. He said, knowing that. While we at home in the body. We are absent from the Lord. We are word. In this body. We are absent from the Lord. Come on. We walk by faith. But what? You got to keep your faith high. Huh? You got to keep your faith high. Huh? I heard uh, Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, when they heated the fire seven times harder. Huh? They looked and they said, uh, I don't care if my God don't even save me. I ain't bowed down to another. Huh? I ain't gonna bow down to no other. But the Bible here seven times. He even slew the men that threw me. Huh? But they, when they looked in there and said, hey, I thought you threw uh, three in there. I thought there were three of them in there. Huh? But I see four. And the four one looked like the Son of God. I'm trying to tell you today, he'll be with you in the fire. Just come on through the fire today. Hallelujah. He'll be with you. He'll stand with you. He'll be right there with you. Through the hard time. See, it might seem like a hard time right now. But he said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light, huh? It might seem to be hard to you, but his yoke is easy. Just come on, do it, pray God. Hallelujah.